Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here. This is the final week of the four weeks of forging, forging challenges that we've been doing. And that means today we're going to be making an axe, a little hatchet. Absolutely thrilled to bring you along. Thrilled for the amount of you that are getting stuck in with some of these forging projects. We hope you take on the project of forging a hatchet. For us to start, we're gonna take some 4140 steel. We've recently been putting up some articles and resources on the Alex Steel Co. website to hopefully make life easier for you folks as you do choose steels and as you wanna learn how to work with them and heat treat them. They're absolutely awesome resource and I really hope you check them out. The two bits of steel here are 4140 that we also happen to have available. You can get your 4140 anywhere. It's a mid-carbon alloy steel with some chromium in it. It's perfect for tools, shafting, axles, things like that. And because an axe has a stouter edge than a knife, it's also good for an axe. We've got this little small fella and this little larger fella. We're going to be making a hatchet and I think I want to make it a little bit on the burlier side so we're going to use this chunk. I'm using some beta calipers as a scribe. Really fast way to line stuff up. Alrighty, into the forge we go. So you saw that when I was driving the drift earlier, we had hump tools on it so that we could preserve that eye swelling. Well now I'm committing to the handle going in from this direction so I'm not worried about preserving it, so I drove it without hump tools. And that serves. You okay? Yep, I'm good, sorry about that. It's okay. And that serves to flatten those cheeks out there. So that was a little miss hit earlier. Miss hits, uh, nothing to be too worried about, they happen. The key thing is everybody stays safe. It happens. It's part of the game. Cost of entry for blacksmithing with the striker. And you've got to be able to deal with it in a productive way and ultimately have a good time and get some good stuff done. It's blade forging time. Does that look cool? It's blade forging time. Five, four, two, it's blade forging time. Wait, you never said one, zero, zero, five, four, two, it's blade forging time. What are you talking about? Okay, like you ready? This time, on two. Okay. Five, four, three, it's blade forging time. Now, as somebody that's more of a uh, hammer maker than a sharp hammer maker, I've got to confess, this is one of those moments where I feel like I'm forging a little bit aimlessly. I feel like I'm just kind of hammering on things to make the shape maybe go where I want it to go, but I don't have a full understanding of where I want it to go, and so things take a whole lot longer. And this is just one of the really interesting things about forging things specifically, is planning and process optimization is so key to being able to make things efficiently because having made and having learnt to make so many hammers, having been taught by Brown Brazil hammer making, I've been exposed to a whole lot of the process options for making that shape. However, when it comes to making an axe, well, I'm a lot less experienced at it, and so things take their time, and that aimless forging is crippling to forging efficiently and fast, it's so much better to have a proper idea of where you're going. And that comes with repetition and then diligence. Also, each heat planning about your next move 
but ultimately I think experience is the key one. Bit by bit, building up that experience and that knowledge base to know where you gotta go. When you tackle a new project, it's a little aimless. You're a little slower than you will be. It's not necessarily the end of the world. It is, however, an indication that there's room for improvement, which is always a good thing. Well, there we go, folks. It's a little bigger than a hatchet. I think this is about the crossing over point from hatchet to axe. But I gotta say, I am just incredibly happy. This thing looks even better than I would have hoped. I think this would make for a great Campax. I think this is good Campax size stuff right here. We are gonna do three normalizing cycles on this and then we're gonna get to the grinding. I'm really happy with how the axe turned out. It's turned into more of a camp axe than a hatchet, and I'm jealous of the person that's entering this last week of four weeks of forging that is gonna be the random winner to win this, because I'd actually quite like to have one of these strapped on my backpack on a camping trip. This would be a great little camp axe. The winners of the last round, the second to last round, rather, of four weeks of forging are these guys who made these beautiful hammers. Well done to you folks. Be sure to get started making your axe and enter the Four Weeks of Forging on Instagram, at Alex Steel, at Alex Steel Co. Hashtag Four Weeks of Forging to get your entry in. We've even made some Damascus, which is one of the top prizes for the last round of the Four Weeks of Forging. The winners of this last week of Four Weeks of Forging are going to be announced in a future episode, so be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so that you can stay tuned as to who won and what videos we post next. Friday the 26th of June. This very Friday, we're going to be launching pre-orders on our Steel Anvils, which is going to be incredibly exciting. Just for the folks that pre-order, we have this limited edition steel anvil 
t-shirt. Not only that, we have also just released 1x30 belts on the website so you can get some premium Cubitron and Trizac 3M belts from us, even if you have a 1x30 belt grinder. We've got all sorts of awesome products for you on our website, alexsteelco.com. Our whole goal is to be able to provide you with the tools and equipment that we love to use and we trust using every day. And so I really hope that you check out that website. Stay tuned for the anvil drop. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for participating in the Four Weeks of Forging. See you soon. Bye-bye.